Hi, good evening. It's Jim from Our Star Observatory. Obviously, it's out of hours, so I'm just being myself right now. And I think that's a good thing, because it's honesty, isn't it? I've been dealing with, for the last two days, uh, two days? Okay, last day and a half, um, an abscess in my mouth, which has made the one side of my face look like a cyclops. And... You know what? I just can't believe it. You know, I've, I'm 48 years old, and I've I've never had or suffered with these ailments before, and it's just soul destroying. Right now, it feels like the pain of being shot in the face. I've never been shot in the face, so, but I'm just saying that that's how it feels. It's just horrible. I've got an abscess, which is like deformed the one side of my face I'm, I'm looking in the mirror and I'm thinking oh my god oh no <laughs> it can't but it, it is it is it's just just the year I'm having I've had a you know I've had a terrible year I'm trying to always fix it up and make it better um, trying to advance the observatory trying to advance you know um the income as well you know uh, a couple of weeks ago we done an exam passed it we did really well I was, I was quite pleased actually I don't think you can you can moan about being 94% um, on the on the exam results so I, I you know I feel like I did well there uh, there's another exam I've got in September you know what I'm doing here right now guys is what a lot of other youtubers don't do and that is just being open with you you know letting you know what is going on in my life um my immune system um needs a recalibrating it is definitely shut down because i'm getting abscesses constantly and not just in the mouth but other parts of the body it's really painful i mean i've never had these things before just to, just to you know have these things form is unusual for me it's like but you know what you know what this is life isn't it you know this is how life takes us down um you know it can happen to any one of us at any given time and when we experience it you know you'll be in that room with me <laughs> and i hope that you never are as well but right now my face is like throbbing um Try to take some painkillers to stop the pain uh, because I can't get to. I rung the doctor on a Friday and, and tried to book an appointment, you know, to get a prescription for some antibiotics. But the doctor said, uh, well, the secretary said she was going to get the doctor to ring me, but she never did. So, you know, we're in the weekend now and the, the surgery is closed. So I've got to wait till Monday. But, you know, I'm trying to. Uh, self remedy myself so I've took some I've took four naproxen um, uh, a couple of ibuprofen and three paracetamol and it's took the edge off it a little bit I've also had a glass of wine as well on top of that so you know that's where we are you know it's not always scientific um you know, we, we resort when we come down to it to some unusual circumstances. You know, trying to help ourselves. Like I say, the pain in my face right now, and you know, my, my one side of my face looks like I've had a stroke right now. It's just horrible. I, you know, new experiences, guys. You know, I, I did. Um, do something unusual today and write some bullet points down which <laughs> you know I'll talk about them with you you know the vulnerabilities we face is the title of the bullet points and um, you know I'll put down global logistics you know we've become um, so advanced and it's like everything relies on you know it being at its best performance but in reality it's never like that is it 
you know these things break down electronics on our cars break down remember the old if you if you old school you remember points where you could just give them a little clean up you know if, if the car broke down because of the point gap weren't right you know you could give it a little clean up and it'd be back on the road now we deal with you know um computers in cars running the electronics and the um everything else i won't go into it but you know the point is is that we live in a world where it relies on you know um a lot of technology and technology is fragile and the problem is is when it breaks down it's not easy to replace it and we're, we're seeing the shortfall of this right now with the um you know with with the global food production it's not just the climate that's affecting the global food production it's actually the delivery system the logistics that's involved in that um one of the bullet points i've written here is complex running of countries that break down Yeah, the, the, I don't know. I don't know why I wrote that bullet point down. <laughs> I did at the time know why I wrote it down, but I don't know right now why I wrote it down. I, I think what I'm what I'm talking about is just the breaking down of you know this world. We're not we're not really managing very well. And um, you will know that a lot of countries are just, especially westernised countries, are, are just service based. We don't actually produce nothing. It's like China produces everything, doesn't it? And if you're producing something, that's a worth. If you, you you're giving a service, you know, okay, it can be a worth, but there's there's nothing being handed over. You know, our infrastructure is, is another bullet point I meant. Yeah, is, um, you know, we're, we're not keeping up with it. And when you um, neglect the infrastructure, like roads, uh, services, things like that, and uh, I think you'll agree with me, <laughs> um, even just trying to get a regular, and, and I'm in the UK right now, so we're in a western country which is considered high tech high service high um to some degree you know specialized services and this that and the other as well as the united states canada and and the other um countries there in in that line I tell you what I'm thinking right now, guys, is just how this is coming across to you. But you know, I've got right now pain rushing up my upper jaw into my eye socket. Believe it or not, it's just I'm just trying to alleviate it. I'm just trying to let you guys know that we're still in the room. You know, we're still operative. We've got some amazing ideas at the observatory that could revolutionise, you know, uh, humanity. It really could. Um, you know, a couple of well, a month ago, we we brought out, you know, the communications for you guys to communicate with this universe. You know, the general public is now allowed to communicate with the universe, and. I, I thought a lot of people would jump at that opportunity to tick that off the box that they could send a message not just whilst the message was being communicated 
but for millions and millions of years, so long as it didn't come into contact with any matter in our universe. I'm talking the whole of the universe. Your message could have been sent out there for the whole universe. You know, I, I made that available to people alongside with a universal light message. You know, I just, we live in a strange world where it seems people can't look up from the mobile phones. They're looking down and that's not human beings to me. Human beings should be looking up to the skies and thinking more about what is out there because there are the opportunities. You know, we've got all sorts of minerals, not just on our planet, you know, the ones that we're struggling to to obtain. They exist throughout our universe. We just need to have the enthusiasm and the willingness to go out there and get them if we want them. Starships, you know, moon ba bases, Mars bases, and beyond our solar system bases is all capable, you know, we're there. We just need to want to do to do it. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to put this video up and I'm going to regret doing it tomorrow because I think it's too honest. You know, a lot of um, people that I slip into the Netherlands with, you know, not, I'm not talking about the country Netherlands. I'm, I'm just talking about, you know, the realms of those people um, are going to criticise me. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. My face is hanging off. My eyeball is almost popping out with this abscess that I've got. And I, I don't know why I keep getting these abscesses. It's just annoying. I've got to this 48 years old um, feeling like I'm falling to frigging bits. You know, it's not like a couple of weeks go by where there's something else that goes wrong. I don't know what's wrong with my immune system. I, I need to look into it and, and fix it. You know, for nearly a month, nobody has clicked and donated on the website. Yet every week we have nearly 15,000 people view the content on there. I, I, I just can't get my head around that. How can 15,000 people, you know, enjoy something or want to know something and not click the donate link I, i'm just absolutely astonished you know the world we live in is is shocking you know we want to help ourselves we all want to better lives but we're none of us are, it seems like prepared to even help each other i'm just shocked Fifteen thousand people nearly every week and for four weeks nobody has even clicked the link and even donated a single coffee I, i'm just I, what sort of world are we living in I, I don't think these people are they're not bad people they're just you know i just think that they expect everything for nothing you know we're trying to keep people informed of one of the most important events of mankind You know, the last time it went through its reversal, 750,000 years ago. And we're here again, right now. And we know what happened to Mars when it lost its magnetic field. So, you know, we know it's over 500,000 years overdue. And we're, we're on the ball here with this. You know, it's not just 
you know, global logistics, global food production, climate change, and corruption in global policies, which is getting worse and worse and worse. And I don't know where we're going to end up, guys. I really don't. But we need to get a grip. You know, people need to not want to shortchange their stock markets for the benefit of themselves. You know, we need to benefit the, the stock market so that we can all do better in a whole. Uh, yeah. we're, we're in really, <laughs> sometimes I think we're in really dark times, I really do. I, I can't understand people why they won't help each other. I can't understand people why they would, why they glorify at somebody's loss. You know how much more attractive it is when somebody is succeeding. I love it when somebody's there. You know, there's no, there's no pleasure for me watching somebody fail. But what we're watching. And what a lot of people are interested in is exactly that. You know, some people are just looking for detachments in life. Some people are just looking for, you know, a cheap thrill. Some people are trying to help others. And they're really rare right now. We, we don't have many of them. And you know what? You know, just think about this is to put it into perspective yeah i think it's going to do an amazing job this is i think you'll understand where i'm coming from in the bible it talks about end times tribulations let's think about that if tribulations happen tomorrow the end times happen tomorrow there are eight billion people here how many of them are going to be chosen just 144,000 you can beat me up in the comments section I don't care for you know the biblical end note of this video but like I said you know I'm just like you guys I have good days I have bad days right now I'm trying to just stop the pain of this abscess in my mouth because I can't do nothing about it for another two days and it's it's like going right up to the eye socket and I, oh it's horrible it's horrible I, I don't know what's happened this year it's been a bad year guys it's a link down there if you want to help support our observatory and I said our observatory this isn't the government you know with one of its organisations putting up this information that we do and we're getting close to the 17th of the month where we're going to relocate the magnetic north pole you know a lot of work went into this to get it to where we are you know that's all I can honestly say if you want to help support us links down there in the description and have an amazing weekend with your loved ones you know enjoy what you can because we are on the precipice i will just say that i'll leave it at that we're on the precipice okay links down there in the description don't forget to go over to Universal Light Message. Send your thoughts out into space. And as always, have a good evening. Bye for now.